Hello and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. As Clang Temple out here in the desert needs an upgrade. Now I've gone into my single player creative world and I've expanded the temple a whole bunch. So let's take a look at what I've done. That should be turning the protector on. Takes a moment. There we go. Oh yeah. So we have two more smaller temples and some obelisks to be added on to the temple complex. Also, a uh, small landing pad, just so there's a place where I can put my taxis that are be coming and going from this area. Uh, probably just two taxis? I don't think I need a very much here. One to go to Midway and one to go back to the actual base. I think so. Oh, and I completely forgot. I had turned off my uh, music. <laughs> there we go. That sounds better. So, let's build! I can show you these off as we get to building them, but first things first, I have to move the mobile field base in order for it to, uh, you know, not <laughs> be in the way, uh, because it currently is. <laughs> we can get off the ground here, and we can actually just turn our uh, building repairs on. And I'll probably, more than definitely, uh, considering the amount of inventory I have, uh, I still have a fair amount of iron. Actually, I still have a lot of iron. We're still processing stuff right in the refineries, eh? Oh yeah, we're still chewing through that nickel. Although I don't really need the nickel much anymore because I am not doing as much uh, motors and things anymore. So we can just put the iron ore first on all my refineries. There we go. Yeah, process that iron. Beautiful. Okay. So, this thing's got tons of fuel, so I'm just going to let it hover here for a moment because I need to start with the underground bits, which hopefully these things will be able to reach. Also, I redesigned this entryway, so I need to go and um, rip out some of these stairs as they are not required anymore, and they are going to actually get in the way. Uh, actually, I don't need to rip them all out. I can leave a few of them here. They'll just get buried up. But you guys are not required anymore. As you guys are now going to be straight on blocks. Oh, hey, in this corner too. There we go. Place, place, place. There. There. Beauty. There, there's that corner. And then over on this side, we can clear out stuff to go down on this corner. Ow! This place looks so cool on the inside. In there. Alright, I need to get rid of the, uh, the ramps there. That should open up space to put the corners. Ha ha ha! Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. And now that is getting started up crazy fast. So what I have done is for the connecting these obelisks, while they look like they're out on separate grids, they're actually just a, a beam running underneath that I will get with my uh, build and repair. So that way I don't have to damage the voxels. And why is that one not loading? <laughs> why isn't why isn't there an obelisk there? Uh, okay, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Maybe my blueprint doesn't have an obelisk in that position <laughs> for some reason. Ah, uh, why? All right, I'm totally out of. Uh, I'm I'm totally out of stuff. Uh, but man, I've been really thinking that I might be reaching the limit of this save. Like, look, I'm, 
Like, I, yes, I have over 100 frames per second, but it, it, it's different when you play it. You get random frame dips and stuff like that. And, like, what left do I have to make? We've got a fair amount on the city. I can go take a little tour here. I'll watch my my FPS crash as soon as I bring the space elevator into view. Your home. Ah, there's more. I I need to build more buildings in the city. Uh, the industrial district is fine. I need to build the airport. There's so many things I'd like to do. But I'm wondering if I've just reached the limit of. Like, at this point, I'm essentially building in creative. You know what I mean? Like, I have so many resources and I have the mods to make it easy for me to build that I can just build giant temple complexes, like, e easily. There's a whole moon base that I... Another asteroid base that I haven't visited in a long time. Still haven't finished the... Uh, the, the taxi station here. <laughs> There's this entire base. There's the old spinning reactor core. I've made a new version of that that uses the uh, doesn't use the mod anymore. It uses the new official blocks. Like I'm just starting to get to the point where I wonder if I'm done with this save. There's just so much that I've built, and I could just keep building and keep building, but there's no challenge anymore. There's no interesting bits to it, because I literally have essentially infinite resources. Like, even if as I just came out here to the desert, this mobile field base has, like, essentially infinite resources right now. Like, how much iron do I actually have on this thing is a question. Like, there's 40k, there's a freaking 1.3 million there, you know, there's another 76,000, there's another 1.4 million, you know, there's millions upon millions of iron on this thing. Like, it's just going to be able to sort of laugh and build up this entire uh, thing here, just let it build for a while. So, you know... Instead of having to do something interesting and figure out how to do it, like, I'm, I'm really comparing myself to Splitzy here, but I am absolutely loving his Survival Impossible stuff that he's been doing recently because he has to think of ways to, how the hell do I do this? How the hell do I recover this ship that is damaged when I, you know, it's difficult to. <laughs> Because at this point in the game, for me, nothing's difficult anymore, you know? I have infinite resources, and I have a giant mobile field base that can just build and has no issues doing that. So I'm really contemplating whether or not it's, it's just time for me to, uh... Just to say, okay, I've won the game, and move on from this save and move into season three and put some more restrictions on myself to make it more interesting uh, the one thing that I'd really like to do is we do know there's a new update coming they've been teasing it a whole bunch they have showed off like, like really cool looking wheels that look like uh, like off-roady kind of things uh, there's the new planet that they teased there's some new other rover, rover parts, it seems. Like, there was, like, a new headlight. And I'm thinking, putting it out there as an idea, is that uh, for Season 3, I start on the new planet, and I've been building a whole bunch of rovers and such, which, I guess, I still need to get those on the workshop at some point. I'm kind of wanting to wait for those new rover parts to come out so that I can accent and upgrade the rovers I'm currently building, to then release them on the workshop. But to do season three on the new planet with a whole bunch of troublesome bits, some a bunch of uh, not as harsh as what Splissy's doing. I don't really enjoy the concept of like having food and managing your water and such like that. That's a bit more too survival-y for me. But 
still having stuff like Oz Scrap, but then put some PvE back into the game with uh, you know, like aggressive um, air traffic so they'd send some drones my way, but then give myself an end goal of doing like the entire season mobile. Like I literally cannot make a static grid the entire season. And if I ever make a, a rover that has a landing gear on it, it's a landing gear for a temporary purpose. Like it's a crane and it just needs the stability. It can't be that I'm like, oh yeah, I have a rover and it's got a landing gear and I can use windmills on it because you know, it's a rover even though I just leave it there and it's essentially just a static base on wheels though. So my, my idea is that I can make an entire season where I have to circumnavigate the planet on the whatever the new planet is i have to drive the entire way around it and that would be the season so i'd start off with my one of my new survival rovers and then as i go i've got to process some materials add on to my survival rover maybe you know i'd have to use all the resources there to make a very basic like large block rover and then on that rover, I'd have to make my assembler and my refinery and all that kind of stuff. And then as I slowly build up, I'm slowly going to like piece together. Oh, I shot down some craft. Oh, let's just plug that onto the side of my ship and essentially Mad Max it the entire way around a planet. I think that would be kind of fun. It would give me a d defined goal of I need to keep moving forward. And then once I'm around the planet, that's the season. And then I move into season four or whatever I do after that. <sighs> because to be completely honest, at this point in this season, I'm just sort of like, hmm, what can I build that would be kind of cool that would make a good video? And it's not like I'm ever thinking about, oh, how am I going to get through this just to build something basic? You know, I'm not thinking about that kind of stuff. I'm just sort of going, oh, what can I do that'll get me some views <laughs> sort of thing. It's not me actually trying to solve a problem that is an actual problem. It's me just going, oh, what can I do that this episode that'd be kind of cool? You know, it's, it's getting a bit tedious. But anyway, I've rambled about that for a while. But that is my thoughts on it. So hopefully you guys have a concept of that and whether or not you'd like to see that and you can yell at me in the comments and I will uh, see what we want to do from there. But the other thing I was thinking for this temple complex is, okay, so it's getting all the underground stuff built up, very nice, and it's gonna get these pillars built, these obelisks, which were built by Pride of Alice, one of my buddies online. He made the obelisk, and it is absolutely beautiful, and so I had to uh, have it in my world. Um, when it is all complete, you've got the um, neon armor skin on the center, and it looks so totally like like golden inlay that is shining in the sun. It's beautiful, so we want that. Uh, plenty of fuel here so I can keep hovering. A uh, whole day of power so I can just leave this thing hovering and building right there. A uh, problem being is that these are my build and repairs are nearby, but I was thinking of going and getting something like hydrogen thrusters, namely a small hydrogen thruster. I need steel plates and metal grids. Oh, steel plates are of course going to be used up right now. Uh, I could turn off my building repairs for a moment. Uh, I need some metal grids. I need to go to my personal one so I can order them directly. Nickel and cobalt, eh? Needs more metal grids. Hopefully uh, I can maybe get around it. Because the idea being is that I would plop down a hydrogen thruster and build it up to a point, but then, like, damage it 
so that it was smoking and used them sort of like as braziers around this area so that they looked really cool. Uh, I'm not sure, do we even have any cobalt on us? Which is a very good question. We might have to go and grab some cobalt. We don't have any, so we cannot build any of these metal grids that we need. Ah, but where there is uh, an ore detector, there is ores to be found. So we can easily head on over to one of these nearby ore patches, slurp up some cobalt, and uh, head on back, building up my grids. As there is an ore patch literally right here that we can just coast over to. And in the meantime, in my production, I can say personal, uh, just stockpile me like 50,000 steel plates because I will need them. And like, that's an example of what I was talking about earlier. I can just go, eh, make me 50,000 steel plates. <laughs> eh, just make 50,000 of them in one go. You know. Uh, nickel, iron, and what else is here? Was there even cobalt here? Ah, there was. Excellent. It's like this place just wanted to be built on. It has everything you could ever need. Um, b -b -b drill system, right. So then let's disable iron that. Let's enable cobalt, so we're just gonna mine that up. And we can enable our drills and we can fly on down to where the cobalt is and start slurping. Should see their animation fly out of the bottom of my ship anytime soon. We can always just set ourselves down here. Beautiful. Lock up, get those wind turbines a spinning. And cobalt getting sucked out from the underground. See, so so when it comes to Season 3, I'm going to talk about sort of the mods that I would want to put onto that. Uh, definitely, I'd like to get rid of the build and repair and uh, you know, that kind of mod. Build and repair, the drill mod, it's just too easy, you know? We can, we can make so much resources so quickly just by hovering over a location and boom look I've gotten like hundreds of thousands of cobalt already I just landed here and I'm already got a whole bunch of area of just the resource sucked out of the ground this is absolutely great if you're a casual player you just want to you know gather and build and stuff but if I'm wanting to do things more seriously and make it tough on myself so that you know invention is like what, what is it? The, um, what is that saying? Something is the mother invention, like, uh, try, I can't remember the exact saying, but that, you know, having an issue that you need to solve makes you more, you know, look to solve things and makes you think about how you can solve things. And what I'm ending up now is that I just solve everything through brute force and automation. I have no more need to, uh, to do that kind of stuff anymore. See, now, there we go. I have... Yeah. How much cobalt now? You know, just a... Easy quarter mil there. Another, you know, 100,000 throughout all the rest of the ship. Maybe 150,000 through the rest of the ship. Yeah, okay, we're done. Boop. We got all the, the cobalt we'll ever need for the longest time. Now we can head on back and continue <laughs> building this giant uh, clang temple. So, season three, mods. Keeping stuff like aw scrap would be great. Uh, I'm tempted to remove my jetpack, like almost completely remove my jetpack because 
I think I'll be on planet the entire time during my uh, around the world. Oh, I could tr I could so try to do it in 80 days or like 80 episodes. No, that'd be probably too long. Oh, this is like episode 60 something right now, isn't it? Yeah, 80 episodes would be too long. But I could try to get around the planet in like 80 whatever. But definitely all scrap, so that way if I break anything or want to replace stuff or need to do that kind of stuff, it doesn't come back on 100% of the resources that I had, which makes total sense. Now the build repairs are toggled back on, and they get back to work, and I should have plenty of materials here to grab, boop, yeah, my hydrogen thruster. So I will you know, place this up over here on top of the here and show you what I mean by the burning. Because I can get this thing fully fully set up. For some reason I didn't have the resources for it. Construction components? No! Why? Make me. Make construction components. No jetpack. I'm, I'm tempted to like actually no thrusters at all. Either if I have a mod to remove them, or if I just make it a rule to myself that I just don't do thrusters. Uh, maybe thrusters in the sense of I will have them for say boosting myself up a hill, but I will never use uh, a thruster to raise my ship off of the ground sort of thing. Okay, so now that that's built, I believe... Oh, do, see, do I have a gun on me? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Can I just use my drill to damage it? Yes, I can. Uh, it's coming along. I need to get to this point where it is smoking. 81%. Well, there we go. Just under functional. Then it starts burning away. And then I have them as braziers. And wouldn't that look amazing from a distance? I have those braziers. I'll, like, nah, probably not every single level. But, like, every, say, two or three levels going down here maybe following the the main pathway going down the center like that i think that would look really cool especially at night which i haven't really added many lights to this place yet but let's uh zoop, zoop to, to light to night real quick here and uh, they don't give off much light themselves but they do look awesome from a distance Yeah, I like it. I like how they look. Just zip myself back the day here. I like it. All right, so where do I want to put those is a very good question. Uh, let's grab some more resources. See if uh, we have enough stuff. Now we're gonna we're gonna continue to run out of steel plate because these are are, are sucking up all the steel plate. So I think guaranteed we're gonna want one at the base and then we should see we're gonna have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty levels up until the top level but i don't really want to put anything on the top because it would screw up with the mechanism so if i put them every so brazier gap gap brazier then gap gap Brazier, gap gap brazier, gap gap brazier, gap gap brazier, gap brazier would be one off from the top. If I just did it every like gap brazier, gap brazier, I th think so. They'd be there, there, there. Dun 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 dun. Right. 
I think that would work. Here, going down. Every two. Unless I did my math wrong, which I very much could have, and I did. Why did that not work? I could move these ones, instead of being right there. There's the braziers all the way coming down. These ones could be further along the pathway. Or like right in line with the pathway. They could be special. You know? And then these ones going up. Are different ones. Ugh, out of steel plate. Give me more of them plates. I think that is the right amount in terms of gaps. I mean, if I really wanted to plan ahead on this entire thing, I would have uh, planned ahead from the beginning of designing this temple, but I'm not that smart. <laughs> I don't think I'm that far ahead. And then for these, these things, I think... Uh, not there. I think here and... Potentially right there as well. So there would be uh, two braziers on each corner. It would be eight per, um, eight per thing. So there will be one there. Uh, one here eventually, but I can't place it there yet. One there eventually, but I can't place it there yet. One there. And I can't damage them yet while this thing is building up. But then imagine them just burning like that with the the excess with the smoke coming out. Oh, that's going to look cool. Yeah. And then I want them all along the all along the pathway or am I just getting too much of a good thing here? Uh, let me just, just get rid of all my resources. Make me more steel plates. some of these metal grids get back onto steel plate creation yes all oh, the steel plates make me more what else can I do I can also try to make more like little statues and stuff these obelisks are like big but I could make like little Statues, now couldn't I? I could take out a piece of the floor. I could put in a rotor, put a small head on the rotor, and I could build a little statue in a small block. Um, or, or, um, <laughs> there was this absolutely monstrous statue of uh, an, an engineer. A giant engineer statue. It's 59,000 blocks. That's actually amazing. <laughs> I could put that down somewhere, but I don't think that would actually fit with this with this aesthetic. That'd probably go better as like um <laughs> like the scene in Lord of the Rings where they're going down the river and they got those two giant statues. You could just put two of those beside the highway back at my city and just have them be like the, uh, you shut up, boss. Or if I was redesigning the city from scratch, I would actually, um, have them say as have one in the center of the city and have it set up as like, uh, What's that monument in France for, like... It's like these victory arches for the for f in France, and they've got a huge roundabout around it. You know, that sort of thing. You just have this giant statue, and it's like a monument, and then you have the, uh... uh <laughs> you have the road circling it, and all of the other city buildings around it. Instead of my, uh... If I Zip back to the city real quick. Over the hills and through the fields we go. It could have been right here 
at the center of this intersection instead of my uh, <laughs> silly little lamppost that I made. <laughs> Back to the playing temple. Okay, so that's building up. We're going to let this all build. We're going to get all of these built up and then damage them down to the point where they are, are smoking and look bloody cool. And then I'm thinking we gather up a whole bunch of sh our, like basically all of our ships and sacrifice them all to Clang and then start Season 3 with a new update, hopefully, that comes out. I hope soon. They, they're teasing it here for like a couple weeks now. I wonder when it is going to be released. But you guys can let me know what you think about that. But I think I built something pretty, pretty cool and big here, and I've I've done a lot in this uh, in this playthrough. I kind of completely strayed off the path that I was originally setting myself up for, which was to do like an economic playthrough and really use the. Uh, like buying and selling and trading and trying to like fully upgrade myself through that and instead I just sort of went yeah how about I just build everything myself and you know build giant <laughs> giant space elevators 20 freaking kilometers long they can lift ships but anyway Clang Temple is being constructed and we'll be ready for the next episode. And then once the new update comes out, I'll actually have my new rovers. And they will finally be on the, uh, on the workshop. But I think for now, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.